Hey guys, Bronco Carl 92 here. It's uh, Monday, September 3rd, and uh, I'm going to show you. Uh, I just piddled around a little bit today. Um, you know, didn't really do too much. It's kind of a crappy day out, as you can see. So I just decided that, uh, I don't know, I'll just putter. I puttered with this. I polished out the hood. Color sanded it like I got nothing better to do. And uh, I put the right decals back on here. So maybe one day I'll finish this tractor and, you know, repaint the fenders and uh, the tunnel and everything else. But for now, uh, that's what we have. Uh, if you notice in a couple of my other videos, um, there's a 682 on the uh, on the hood. So I actually I got new decals a while ago, and uh, I put the right decals on here. You see, when I converted this tractor over to propane, I had to close up the the hole in the hood where the where the fuel tank used to go through, right here. So uh, I didn't want to wreck my original hood, so. I bought a hood from a 682 and uh, did surgery on that one and uh, that's what we have so a couple of other people have been asking um, about the propane conversion so I'm just going to give a quick overview of, of what I did so it's actually quite simple um, the gas tank used to be here and had a conventional carburetor obviously so I removed the fuel tank and I installed this um, this regulator here. This is the solenoid, the shut-off solenoid. And then uh, this is the, the hose that the LP runs in. Actually, i got to fix that. Um, but anyway, yeah, the, so the hose goes down, and I have it going through a sleeve through the tunnel. And then it comes up over here. And this goes to this upright tank which is a 20 pound cylinder. Um, the carburetor is an Imco carburetor, I guess. I guess I don't know if you can see that. But basically all it is is just a, a mixer. And uh, as you start it, as it runs, I guess the vacuum signal, I guess, gets uh, as much fuel as it needs. And uh, it's totally reliable and uh, runs great and uh, the coolest thing about it is that if you look in the exhaust here no more carbon the engine oil stays clean and uh, it was definitely uh, I think the best thing I could have done to this tractor I have no problems with it running in the winter time um, and uh, that's it so anyway uh, thanks for watching.